All right, here we go. First uh, GTI test drive, actual drive. Yep. You got the. <laughs> you yeah. Take some pictures. I'm doing video. Oh, alright. Uh, Mr. Matt over there will be spotting us, making sure that nothing horrible happens. Uh, coolant's pretty cold, but we're gonna get our defrost on anyway. Well, let's uh, see how she runs. Get at least a little bit of side visibility here. You're probably noticing already no rear view mirror. Um, that's something that has to be fixed. And the awful creaking is the, uh, the four Montreals in the back, the wheels. So, main things that are not tested are the brakes. Um, so I'm sort of feeling sketchy about those. I miss my auto headlights already. Uh, he does feel a little short on power. Of course the ride's like extremely bumpy. The suspension's not used to moving. So not used to driving at 1500 RPM. That's like a mortal sin in the Mazda. <laughs> um, we're on about 25 miles an hour right now. Uh, really just driving this thing like a grandma for the time being. I gotta turn my heated seats on. It's freaking cold and wet. Um, sat around in the rain changing the oil. She's running the diesel oil right now. That's the other reason I'm trying to sort of be light on the revs. But, I mean, everything really seems to be working, you know? We're getting fuel. We're getting, uh... Plenty of, uh... Plenty of coolant. The engine seems to be warming up decently. I had to kind of compromise a little bit, put a handsome amount of uh, distilled water in there. So we're probably running about a 30-70 mix of uh, coolant to water right now, and I'm trying to bring that back closer to uh, where it should be. But it's drivable. So that's Lakeview Terrace that we just drove. <clears throat> This hill is going to be fun. There's actually a real lack of power here. I'm a little concerned about that. And just because of the diesel oil, I'm keeping the revs at a strict 3,000 and, and below. Which is not completely optimal, but definitely not enjoyable. But what we want for now is for this car to be drivable and for it to stay in good condition. Brakes are pretty solid, that's great. It, it feels so much slower than the speed though. The gear ratios are much higher. And 
so, you know, the speed would be at 2,500 RPM by the time the 25 miles an hour in third gear. This is like 1,500. But, but this thing also likes lower revs than the speed. And we finally had our miles increment. Uh, 158,422 was the mileage at which this car died, and we've, or sorry, 452, and uh, 158, 453 is where we're at now. Since I know you all are interested, this is being filmed on a Canon uh, Rebel T3 with a uh, 10 millimeter wide lens. So this is Bennett's Bridge Road. Actually, I need to watch my speed because there can be cops. But, um, just, again, driving like a grandma. My girlfriend's aunt was a Department of Corrections officer for her entire career. She retired at 42. She got pulled over on this road, and um, we're, we're in Sandy Hook, Connecticut, which, of course, um, is the location where the... Um, the terrible uh, shooting tragedy occurred on December uh, December 14th, 2012, and uh, my girlfriend's aunt was actually a, a psychiatric counselor for many people in the Newtown Police Department. So she got pulled over, and they're like, "Hey, I got I got so and so here," and the and Central radioed back, and they're like, uh, "Let her off." to the top of the hill here, a gigantic hill, finally hit fourth gear. I feel that seat heat kicking in. Wow, boy, does that feel good. I'm trusting this car with this already. <laughs> but the, the Winter Force tires are a big deal. She's still driving straight, too. Um, no real wheel pulling in any direction. We're up to temp. No radiator lights. Uh, that's good. If she does throw a coolant code, then you know, I got my spotter math behind me. He'll just. Uh, just uh, park this thing and drive back to the house and grab the distilled water that I forgot to grab before we left. Fill her up. It's so weird shifting this thing though. The, the Speed 3 has a uh, short throw shifter from TWM. It's like a $500 shift kit. It actually came uh, with the car the previous owner installed it. And using a, a normal tall shifter uh, just feels incredibly weird to me now. Even though it's what most stick shift drivers use. 
feels so invincible with these tires, and it, it feels a million times more steady than the, than the Speed 3. I guess it really just goes to show uh, how much I freaking miss this car. You know, the steering is is perfectly tight. It's got the perfect amount of tension. Um, the handling is second to none. Pretty much everything about this car I've just always loved. So that's why I'm so ecstatic to have it back. Any of you guys watch uh, the, uh, the car stories, regular car reviews on Pennsylvania 183 this week? Because I'm just thinking of that as I monologue to y'all. I love the sharper relay click sound of the uh fuel now. I think our first stop is actually going to be a shell. Fill her up with uh, fresh V-Power gas. I'm trying to run as much stuff with detergents. Uh, high detergent oil and uh, the V-Power gas that has a ton of detergents in it. Just clean out every possible area of this engine. Because the amount of gunk that collected in here was just unbelievable. I took the radiator out and the, the old radiator actually weighed like a good pound and a half more than the uh, new one. Probably from all the gunk and oil and you know we had oil and coolant get mixed when the head came out so had all that crap mixed together. the difference that uh, 15 inch wheels and a soft suspension make on this road because the Speed 3 has of course 18 inch factory rims, um, a very firm sporty suspension. It handles great save for the understeer but on this road it's just you know what the heck are you doing to me?
wish I could open the windows, but it's 42 degrees and rainy today. Nice and toasty inside this car now. Got my heated seat. My uh, heat's working decently, so. Oh yeah, that's blowing good and hot. We had a new thermostat too, because that was at, that actually failed before the motor did. I didn't want to take the whole car apart to change out the thermostat, but when I had the whole car apart anyway for the head job, I figured why not? You know, so pop the alternator out and dug through all the other stuff. Got the thermostat removed. And now she's uh, good as new. She actually is new. GoPro, my Toyota has a flip scoop. That means it's fast. Honda Accord. Honda Accord. Business accounts. camera shake we got or anything like that. <laughs> Hope the video was okay. It was okay for y'all. But uh, yeah, that's it. That's the TTI's first drive. We are back at Ed's place. Of course, Matt, my spotter. I got a Ford. <laughs>